Hello, my name is Simone and I'm a Kazaz consultant. And what I'm going to show you today is how to make this little cute little bag using our Easy Press A4 roller die cutting and embossing machine. And what we're going to use to do that is our bag die and the little flowers that come with it. And that set also comes with a little heart, but we're not going to use that today. What I've gone ahead and done is cut a five and a quarter by twelve inch piece off the top of our Spring Asian SB paper. So we don't need that bit, I'll pop that aside. So what we'll do is we'll turn that around, leaving the picture side up, and we'll put our die right up in the top left hand corner. Now, normally we put our base pad on the bottom and our cutting mat on top. We're going to do it the other way around today and it doesn't matter which way around you do it as long as the cutting side of your die is facing down towards your cutting mat. So that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to move that along slightly so we've got room for our flower. So we're going to put our little bit of taffy cardstock down there and a little flower die directly on top. Alright, put our base pad A on top and pop it through. And there's our little bag die. And we only need the flower flowers out of this, this lot, so we'll just pop them aside as well. And we're going to do the same again with the flower die with a little bit of black cardstock, and we're just going to pop it across the leaves section like that. And then pop it down. And we have our two little leaves. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and score the bag at all the score lines. And I'm going to do that using a ruler and a bone scorer. So first we'll just do the ones across the bottom. And then the ones across the side. Okay, now these need all folding in, but if we fold them out first then you won't get that little bit of white that's in the core of the paper showing through. It gives it a nice crisp fold. So we fold them all inside towards themselves first. and then in that way and then just go over it with a bone scorer to make it nice and crisp okay then we need to go ahead and put some tape
and just take the tape off. And then working from this end, just start taping it all together. Just pop that one in there, matching the little bits up. And there you go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is our little flower. Now, the first thing you'll do is just curl up the leaves, the petals, petals a little bit, and we can do that with a bone scorer. So you just go around and just curl them all up a little bit, like that. It just gives it a little bit of dimension. Okay, and that one too. Once you've done that, then you can pop it together with your rhinestone. So, just popping that through. Okay, and just pushing it down quite hard, making sure it's going to stay put. And then apply a little bit of super tape to the back of the flower. For your petals. So just peel that off and place your petals on there. Oh, your leaves, sorry. And then the other one. Okay. Just like that. And then you get your ribbon with the black side underneath and just keeping them together. Basically, you're going to make a loop. Put your finger in there like that. Make a loop and bring them together. And once they're together, you can just bring out these black pieces a little bit so they stick on the outside just a fraction just get it how you want it and then I'm going to pop it on the back of your flower so just hold that on the back of your flower like that and again apply some super tape to the back so it holds it in place Once you've done that, just peel it off. And apply it to your bag. Like that. And if you need to trim the edges of the ribbon again, you can do that after.